been months since we've seen school buses back picking up and dropping off students from school, but they'll soon be back on the road and officials are reminding motorists what you should be on the lookout for when you're around them. Now our own Evan Hong has more on what to watch out for. These bright yellow machines are hard to miss, but what can be hard is remembering what to do when you see them transporting kids out on the roadways. The start of the school year is a busy time for police to crack down on drivers who violate traffic laws near buses and in school zones. Uh, not just this school year, every school year we have uh, officers that do regular patrol around the schools, especially during drop off and pick up times. Laws require all motorists to obey the signs and lights that signal when the bus is picking up or dropping off kids, and bus drivers say knowing the difference between signals can be confusing. When you see the hazards, which are those yellow blinking lights, and they're both going on, it's like a turn signal, it's okay to be cautious and pass the bus. Now, there's a big difference. Well, we have amber flashing, and they're up high, and they turn from amber to red. When you see those going off, then be, be prepared to stop. And then certainly when the reds come on, that's an indication that you have to stop. Student Transit says they see motorists disobey these laws at least once a day and violation could result in a hefty fine. If you do, it's a $326 citation, um, and that's something we're very strict on here in Altoona. Officers say some of the biggest concerns come at crosswalks. When kids are ready to cross the street, all cars must yield to them, and they are not allowed to proceed until the kids are all the way across the street. Officials are urging everyone to use extra caution around kids, either on or off the bus. I think the most important thing as a, as a driver out there is to watch out for big yellow. Just know that there's precious cargo on board and this is a big deal. Just be safe around them and then when you see those lights, you know, if you have any doubt in your mind, just stop and, and, you'll, and you'll be fine. All right, thanks, Evan. Well, some school districts have asked students to find alternative ways to get to school other than riding the bus due to COVID-19, which means more students may walk or bike there. Altoona Police recommends parents to take their kids along those routes before the start of the year to make them more comfortable.